How's it going everybody? It's Warren and welcome back to my channel, The Cosmic Wonder, where we talk about all things Marvel and everything relating to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And today we have a lot of exciting and very important news to break down. There's a new team coming to the MCU, but not just any team, a very, very specific team that has been introduced in Marvel Comics for a very specific purpose. And this team is going to bring very, very important characters to the MCU. Characters like the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, and other mutants as well. So in this video, we're going to talk about this new Avengers team, why they are formed in the comics and why they're going to be formed in the MCU. And also, of course, how they're going to be brought into the MCU, which will introduce the X-Men and Fantastic Four. So we'll break all of this down, but first, if you're new, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things relating to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and so you can enter this week's giveaway for a chance to win a Hawkeye Funko Pop. All you gotta do to enter, subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment about the video down below. So if you caught my video yesterday, you know that Marvel Studios is planning on bringing the Illuminati into the MCU. This is actually something that I first reported back in January of this year. And it's a really big deal and we're going to go into a lot of detail that we didn't go into yesterday. But yesterday, the Illuminati did report that they have seen a casting list for Marvel Studios' Illuminati, confirming that not only are they coming, but they are in pre-development. And the biggest things that you need to know about this group are who they are, because they are very specific people and why they are formed in the comics. So in the comics, the group is formed by Iron Man. Tony Stark forms the group and he hand picks the members and those members are, of course, himself, Doctor Strange, Black Bolt, Namor, the Submariner, Mr. Fantastic, and Professor Xavier. And something important to note that I think is going to play a part in the MCU is that he initially asked Black Panther to be a part of the group as well, but Black Panther declines. So this is literally a super group, one of the strongest groups ever assembled. Each person very specifically picked because they were in charge of their own group. Tony Stark leads the Avengers. Professor Xavier leads the X-Men. Mr. Fantastic leads the Fantastic Four. Black Bolt leads the Inhumans. Doctor Strange is the Sorcerer Supreme controlling the reality and Namor is the king of Atlantis. So the Illuminati is essentially the leaders of all of the superheroes in the world. And when I say the world, I do mean the actual planet Earth because that is why the Illuminati were formed, to protect the Earth. And here's something that you must know about this group and is going to be very important in the future. The Illuminati was formed after the events of the kree scroll War. Iron Man suggesting forming a mega group in case other events such as the kree scroll War or any other major power threatened Earth. This group is a secret organization controlling all of the different superhero groups. These superhero leaders control all of the other superhero groups and shape the status of the superhuman world and the world around it. So this group, the Illuminati, essentially controls all of the superhero groups on the planet. And they do this so all of the heroes can be in sync and they can prepare for and defend the Earth in case of an invasion or an attack. So now the question is, why are they going to be formed in the MCU? Well, as I mentioned in the comics, they're formed after the Kree Skrull War, a very big event. And we just had our very own big event in the MCU, and that of course was Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Thanos decimated not only half of the world, but half of the universe. And then after that, the 2014 Thanos almost eliminated the entire universe. After Avengers Endgame, the world does need a super group, more than ever now. Now, there was one attempt at forming a super group to control the events around the world, and that was during Captain America's Civil War. The Avengers were essentially taking care of all of the worldly threats, but then Thunderbolt Ross wanted to control the Avengers, control the super people himself to where he could use them to do whatever he wanted them to do. And we all know how that ended because we've all seen Civil War. But the fact that the Illuminati are coming now kind of gives us a feel of what the world is like after the events of Endgame. Spider-Man Far From Home delved a little bit into what happened after what they called the blip but they didn't really focus on it too much, and when they did, it was kind of more of a comedy thing than an actual real thing. The world is obviously going to be incredibly different after all of these events have taken place. They now know that they're open to extraterrestrial attacks, and now the Avengers know that they can, if they're separated, lose. 
they lost to Thanos. And they lost because they were separated. They could have probably defeated him if they were all together. But it was the Avengers who managed to undo all of the events that Thanos did and then defeat Thanos, not the government. The Avengers are the ones who figured out time travel. They're the ones who went back in time. And then they're the ones who defended the Earth and defeated Thanos. So now it's fairly obvious that the world after Avengers Endgame needs to be ran by super people and not the government. The government with their armies and navies can't take down people like Thanos. And they will have absolutely no luck with future threats such as Galactus or King the Conqueror. The only people who can stand up against evil threats like these are the superheroes, the Avengers, the Fantastic Four, and the X-Men. But if there's one thing that we learned from Infinity War is that all of the groups have to be united, and that's why the Illuminati is coming in. If all of these different superhero groups are doing their own separate things, it doesn't really work. We learned that from Avengers Infinity War. So what the Illuminati is formed for is they make decisions and then relay those decisions back to their superhero groups, and they act accordingly and together. What is essentially happening is a government for the superheroes. It's a leadership organization controlling what they take action on to protect the Earth. And not to mention, Tony Stark is now gone. He sacrificed himself to save the universe, but he's gone now and he was a really big part of the Earth's defense. He had his Iron Legion and he basically funded the Avengers. And that also leads us to a hole in the Illuminati. There's one slot that needs to be filled and the most likely person that they will fill this slot with is Black Panther. Now, like I said originally in the comics, Tony Stark asked Black Panther to join the Illuminati, but he said no. But the events in the MCU are obviously different, and they obviously don't adapt the entire story of the comics and just put it on screen. And after the events of Infinity War and the events of Endgame, it's probably pretty clear to T'Challa that the world needs superheroes to protect it. And not to mention, the Avengers are probably going to need some funding. Yes, Stark Industries can continue to fund the Avengers, but they're going to need somebody hands-on and Black Panther is perfect for that because not only does he have the means to fund the Avengers and any other superhuman group for that matter, but he also has the technology. Tony Stark didn't just provide money, but he provided technology and weapons and suits as well. And these are all things that Black Panther and Shuri can provide. So in the MCU, Black Panther can step up and take Tony Stark's spot. The Inhumans are still a pretty big question mark as far as the MCU is concerned. We have a few rumors, but we'll have to wait and see on them. Of course, Doctor Strange is going to play a big part in the MCU moving forward, and we know that the X-Men are coming along with the Fantastic Four. So Professor Xavier and Mr. Fantastic will join us pretty soon, and that leaves us with Namor. Now there's been a ton of talk about Namor coming to the MCU, specifically in Black Panther 2, but what's interesting about this is that he will most likely be the villain of Black Panther 2. Atlantis and Wakanda do have a history of fighting each other in the comics, and it was a pretty big battle, one that pretty much decimated Wakanda. So if Namor is the villain of Black Panther 2, it'll most likely be somewhat of a Batman vs Superman situation. They fight at first until they have a common enemy and then fight together. Namor is a really, really big character that Marvel Studios has actually hinted at in the MCU a few times with different easter eggs, including the most recent one in Avengers Endgame, which the writers did confirm was in fact a Namor more easter egg. So we know that he's not going to be a villain throughout the MCU, but will in fact be a hero eventually. So hopefully in the MCU, Namor will go on to take his spot with the Illuminati. Now, what's truly awesome about the report that we got yesterday from the Illuminati.com is that they say based off of what they've seen, the Illuminati is most likely going to come in phase five. And phase five is only probably about two, two and a half years away. And since Professor Xavier, the X-Men leader and Mr. Fantastic, the leader of the Fantastic Four are in the Illuminati, that means that the X-Men and the Fantastic Four should be introduced into the Marvel Cinematic Universe within the next two to two and a half years. And this is a a bit earlier than most of us expected. There are definitely going to be mutants in Phase 4, but we weren't expecting the actual X-Men team. The Fantastic Four could also make their MCU debut in another film, but not get their own movie until later on. But the Illuminati coming to the MCU means that Marvel does have pretty big plans for them and they're going to happen relatively soon. Now, the original exclusive report that I reported back in January from Mikey Sutton says that we'll see the Illuminati form in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Now, it's not going to be a 
a prominent part of the movie, but it could show up at the very end or in a post credit scene. So they're going to be set up in phase four and the X-Men and the Fantastic Four are definitely going to be mentioned in phase four. And then later on, they'll all debut. So the MCU is getting very, very exciting and it looks like it's going to be changing a little bit, which is to be expected after Avengers Endgame. There definitely is going to be a different tone moving forward and the Illuminati are coming to join all of the different superhero groups together. So really exciting stuff, everybody. But let me know what you think about this news in the comments down below. How excited are you for the future of the MCU, the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, Namor, and the Illuminati? Let me know down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any videos about Marvel. Also, if you love G Fuel and energy drinks, don't forget to use code COSMIC at gfuel.com. For live updates, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.